Today I am diving into a fantastic indie game called A Short Hike and putting one hour on the clock to see how quickly I can beat this game. My name is Rusty, this is Analog Sticks, and today we are breaking A Short Hike. Also, I want to give a big, big thank you to Mark Sparling, who did all of the amazing music for this game, and even allowed me to use it in this video. So if you haven't already, you can check him out on Bandcamp, linked below. Okay, so before we start the clock, let me explain a couple of things. This game is rather short. It was literally developed by one guy from Canada, shoutouts Adam Robinson U, but I cannot stress this enough, this game is fantastic. If you want to hear my friend Cody and I gush over this game, check out the podcast where we did a full episode that's now linked on the top right corner of your screen. Today, however, I'll be skipping as much of the exploration, dialogue, and collection as possible to beat this masterpiece of a game in the quickest way I possibly can, and I've only got one hour to do it. Before sitting down to record this video though, I hadn't seen a single speedrun of the game or attempted any of the crazy tricks you're about to see in a little bit. I'd just played the game casually. Now my goal going into this will be observing other runs posted to the speedrun.com leaderboards and attempting strategies that they use and formulating a route that works best for me as fast as I can, then putting it together in a speedrun. So without any further delay, I'll let gameplay Rusty take over. Okay, I've got the world record speedrun. Shoutouts to NoLed. He is the current any percent world record holder. He runs past Aunt May. Grabs the one coin. I don't know if that's necessary or if that's just on the way. He grabs the stick. Oh, he saves a another reset. Okay, wait, what? Oh, he did a reload. I'm not doing any reloads. That's just too much. Okay, wait, wait, wait. hold on. Go back. He... He stands on the chest. Okay. Hey, it's post-commentary Rusty again. So at this moment, I'd realized I was in for more than I initially expected. This is what I call box jump for the remainder of the video, but it's actually called chest boosting by the community. Basically, when you open a chest, it pops a little bit, and if you're near this pop, it fires you away from the center. It's highly dependent on your position as to which way you're sent, and you'll soon see that it's not very easy to do. Generally though, the closer to the center of the chest you are, the more likely success is, but it's a doozy. Back to gameplay, Rusty. He goes and gets that one golden feather. Let's see how tough that is. Okay. So he comes and runs over here, and then- oh man. And then he came and runs and jumps over here. Okay. And then I think he did something with the umbrella. Why yes, he did do something with the umbrella, as you guys can see here now. Umbrellas are found in a few spots on the island, and they're very bouncy. I don't think the developer initially intended for the momentum to be carried like this, but you can use your flying momentum to gain height and make quick lateral moves like you see here. This is the only time you see it in this run, but it's a cool mechanic I feel like I should explain nonetheless. Okay, let's let's try this. I wonder how hard this is going to be, because I might just make my own route if this is going to be this hard. That's so easy. Okay, hold on, hold on. So that's doable. And then he comes and just lands. He landed directly on the chest. That's optimal. I'm not going to be able to do that precise. He lands on the chest. He started to sm slowly move away a little bit. That front left corner. All right, let's see how precise. The Hello, darkness, my okay, we're going to fall. We're going to come back over here and try this again. Oh, how did I get it the first time? Okay, I don't know what I did differently. Oh, worst case, I can just land on that little shorter part. So he runs and jumps over here. Oh, that's not that hard. Okay, but I think... Because now that chest is open. If I fail that once, that's the run. Okay, so... I don't like that for the concept of a no-reset run, but I do like it in general. So he comes up here and grabs this golden feather. Let's watch the rest of this run. He grabs the golden feather, sails along the river... Past the turtle right up here, right? Yes, okay. Climbs up there. Another box jump. Hold on, let's see. And then that one brings him up here. I'm, is he gonna do another box jump? Oh my god. This is crazy. If you fail one of those box jumps, you have... 
You have to restart, I think. Okay. What? I think he just does that to be fast. Yeah, because you could just walk along that edge. I'm probably just going to walk along that edge. Unless it's, like, really easy. Then he comes over here. Is he going to do it? Oh, he's not doing a body strip. Oh, he's getting a bucket. Oh, because spring flowers. Okay, yeah, those exist in this game. Runs and jumps. Another box? Oh my gosh, this guy's cracked. <laughs> okay, so he's in the freezy area. There's a hot spring right here. There's another spring flower. Is he going to just change spring flowers now? Because spring flowers, if you mess up, you can try again. Well, I mean, if you're going for a world record. There's another one down. And this is like the end of it. Hold on. He's only a minute and a half in. What? When does time end? So he comes up here to the top. He's on the phone. Okay, there's the updraft. And then... Just dives. Oh my god, that's optimal. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, so then he just climbs up here. Alright. I accidentally flew. Okay. I do not like having to jump on these boxes. There's gotta be a strategy where you don't do box jumps. Because these look... Kinda... Okay, I'm on the box. Open. What? After failing this box jump and coming to the realization that if you fail a box jump, you can never try it again and it's an automatic reset, I came to the conclusion that I didn't want to do this route. It just seemed too high risk and to too low reward to repeatedly do, especially if I'm going to do a no reset at the end of this. So I opted after a few minutes of deciding what to do, wasting my time, I opted to pick a run that's a little bit slower but a little bit more easy, and here's that. All right, here we go. This is TK Juice Man. Shoutouts to TK Juice Man for providing footage. He runs and jumps past. Okay, that may be the play. Does he do the umbrella? Because the umbrella wasn't hard. You can redo that. Yeah, he does the umbrella. And then he comes over here and does box jump. Okay. Okay, that's easy enough. Grabs the golden feather. He does not go the same route. Okay, this is what we were looking for. This is what we were hoping for. So he comes southwest, it looks, past two. This is towards the ranger, right? No, this is the same route you would take when you race Avery. Yes, this is like the exact same route for the race. Okay. But he's only got one feather. Uh, he does not do a box jump. What? He just fell. Okay, that's a reset for him. So yeah, he's just, from what I can tell, taking the route that you would in the actual just race. And then he comes over here, he grabs a second golden feather. This is huge. Okay, so this is the overlook right here. This is going to be the part I have to figure out. It's just the route and the movement. This is going to be the tough part. Let's go ahead and pause this. Let's work on just getting to the overlook real quick. Oh, skip the text. Hell yeah. Oh, I did not think I was going to make that. Okay, box jump. So they went on the corner here. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. And then he came and got this. And then he came past Sue down here. Okay. This isn't so bad. I can do this. And he came up here and made this right turn. Past all this. Up past this. He did not... He, I think he opened the box but didn't use its contents. Okay, and then we're up here. Hold on. Where did he go from here? And then he climbs up this hill. Okay. Oh, not there. And this takes you to the overlook. All right. I'm stuck on a tree. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> so then we come up here and we can get this feather. TK Juice Men, what do now? Show me where to go, where to be, what to do, how to do. So then he comes up here, up this path. We kind of avoided this. He grabs the extra extra feather just for security, it seems. He's like, yeah, he's not getting that box. He's grabbing the bucket. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the bucket. I think from here, because this is the same similar thing you do to when you race Avery, if you're just playing the game casually. Oh, that's bad. Watching this video back now is a little bit painful because this trick is actually pretty easy, but I struggled quite a bit to get it down. So in order to do you guys a little bit of a favor here, I'm just going to skip past it all and get to the good parts. Okay, 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 okay. He goes there and then just follows this path down, it looks like. He comes up here, hits the hot spring. Yes. 
and then goes up and climbs up here. What? Oh, he's just going to the fire. Hold on. I can do that right here, I think. No, two feathers is not enough. Okay. Now, getting to the top of this little ledge here is essential, but it was the bane of my existence for a good little bit here. So here's a little bit of a montage of me just repeatedly failing and trying to learn this trick. Enjoy! Okay. Now you'd think now that I've done it I would move on, but the extreme sadist aka speedrunner in me wants to know that I can do this trick repeatedly under pressure. So I set a goal for myself to do it three times, so here's more flunks. Alright, I think you guys get the point by now, I'm bad at climbing. But after spending about 10 minutes on this section, and finally getting it 3 times in a row, I decided to move on with the rest of the route. Let's continue to watch. He climbs up here, goes past the fire, gets his feathers back, and then he goes behind the cabin, yeah, behind the cabin, up onto this edge, flies down here, into more hot springs, and then this is the bucket. Okay, so I think that this is just the same as the world record run now. Let's see, so it's four flower, bucket, where did he go though? Oh my gosh. Ah, you can't climb with the bucket. Oh, that wasn't so bad, okay. And then it's pour water, I thought I missed, I was about to be so mad. Okay, then we come up here, bucket water okay so yeah we get another bucket from here i think it might be easy that really the climbing and the box jump are the two things that make this run then okay yeah and then this is it all right yeah because this is hawk peak okay what how did they get so high at this point the end was in sight i could see the finish line the peak of the mountain Although I didn't know I had to run and jump onto the flower in order to get there, so I spent about another minute trying to figure that out. But once I did, I finally got to the top, and you guys get to see that here. Okay, but that was like dead perfect. Then you just get your feather back and that's the game. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this run out and we're gonna get our first time. And then he just dives down. Not like that. Oh, way to the left, way to the left. Okay, this is by the boat. Okay. 18.15 for the first run, and that's including the time I took to pause. Not bad. It's not bad. Okay. And there you have it. In just under half my allotted time to learn the speed run, I had completed my first run. The time was very unflattering, but now I had some time to get some practice in before that final run after my hour is up. Let's get some stretching in. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Satellite radio, y'all getting down with it. Ooh, ooh. All right, so we run past. Already off to a not so great start, okay. And as you guys probably guessed it, the pressure of trying to go quickly was already getting to my head. And my first practice attempt was not off to a great start. Okay. <laughs> this feels so unnatural. Umbrella jump. Boing. Yo, that was fast. Box jump. 
Okay, that one's not hard. Why did the other one give me so much trouble? Okay, so now we're into the snowy area. This is where we come up here and we climb. And now we're at the outpost, outlook, whatever it is. Grab the golden feather. And then we go back where we came. And now we progress upwards towards the bucket. That guy went through there. I'm going to get these coins because it's swag strats. Skip, oh, skip that little ledge. It saves a smidge bit of time. Okay, then we grab our bucket. Grab some water. Pour the water. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then we come down here. Alright, this is the part. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. See, this is why we practiced it, and we still can't do it. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay. So then we go behind the cabin, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we go into this water. Okay, this is where it gets easy from here. Grab the water. I say it gets easy. There's still hard part. Grab some more water. Now this part gave me a little bit of trouble, but nothing too crazy. Yo, that was fast. This part also gave me a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I'm clear. Okay, so that was almost a really good first run. Oh, oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I just botched the very ending. Okay. Hard part's done. I say that, but I've struggled with the very ending. Okay, ready to mash. Mashing simulator. I'm going to try to get close to the microphone so you guys can really hear the clicking. Oh, my elbow's tightening up already. Should have stretched. Flashback. Let's get some stretching in. End of flashback. I love it when A and B are both buttons that can progress through text. Just so much quicker that way. Versus trying to press one tiny little button. Ah, ah, oh, 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 go. oh my god, where, I, how did I end up over here? This is not close. Oh, it is close. <gasps> go, 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 go. Final two. Oh my god. <laughs> Yes! And there we have it. My first practice run and a new PB. A 502 at that. That's a pretty respectable time. It's nothing crazy. I don't even believe it's top 100, but I was still very happy with this, especially with what's to follow. 106th place. 7th. 107. No, 108th. Final answer. Counting's hard. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let these credits roll, I'm going to go grab my water, and then we're getting serious with these runs. Before I can get serious though, I want you guys to take a second, if you're still watching this video, to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, why not? I post other good stuff sometimes. Thanks. I can do this. I can do this. I'm a powerful, strong individual with the most moral standards on the planet. That's a lie. And we're going to go out here. And we're going to beat TK Juice Man. And maybe even Super P Man. I love speedrunner names. They're so good. Okay, let's just, let's just have fun with it. I'm setting too much pressure on myself. Okay, let's go. Later, Aunt May. Okay, umbrella jump. First trick of the game. I missed the umbrella. That's a great start. Okay. Did not get me right to the box. Okay. Box jump. Don't fail it. That's a reset. <laughs> and there we had it. My second practice attempt was over just as quickly as it began due to a missed box jump. Now you may have heard me saying this was easy in some of my commentary during the run, but in the post commentary, this trick has jaded me and you guys are about to find out why. Hot start. Let's not fail this. Okay, better. Better. Grab the coin. I didn't even grab the coin, so now when we grab a coin, it's gonna throw me off. And now we've gotta try box jump. Let's see. Not box jump. Well, we do get to try box jump, but first... Oh, we had to do umbrella jump, and I failed it. Okay. Oh, I almost... Oh, I opened the box. Okay. After back-to-back -back runs with missed box jump, I actually got one done. It was a little sloppy all around and I definitely had some time saves. It clocked in at a final time of 541. 
nothing flattering, but I still had just over 10 minutes to try to do a couple more practice runs and see what I could do before it was time for the run. This is the run, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Box jump. It wasn't the run. How did I mess up box jump? What? I had failed box jump again. Except it wasn't just on this one run. It was on the next run. And 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 the next run. Leaving with only five minutes of practice left before I had to do my no reset. And naturally, I get it with five minutes left. With box jump out of my way once again, I now had hope for not only this run, but the run that would follow it, being that no reset. The run. Before that, though, I did go ahead and finish that run I was on, and it was nothing short of unflattering. But it was good to get that last little bit of practice before the no reset in. And here it comes, an hour of blood, sweat, and tears poured into this wonderful indie game. And now I'm going to see how quickly I can beat a short hike after learning in only an hour. Alright, here we go. It's been an hour. A long and painful hour filled with blood, sweat, and tears learning a short hike. But you know what? The fruits of my effort are going to be harvested right here, right now, with an awesome speedrun. Okay. Jeez, I can't believe how confident I was after failing seven straight box jumps. But nonetheless, we got right into this run, and we nailed the skip of Aunt May's dialogue, and got onto the little island and grabbed our coin. Now we gotta do Umbrella Jump. Umbrella Jump's easy, but don't miss it. We finished Umbrella Jump without a hitch, but now this was the moment of truth, the make or break point of the run. Can I hit box jump? I can get under the box. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, we did it! Okay, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. I thought I was just gonna have to end the video. The video gets to continue as I hit box jump and grabbed the first golden feather, then began to progress up the mountain towards the overlook. We're gonna go to the right, not the left. I almost went to the left and just completely botched the route. Oh. Okay, what? All right, just costing myself random time for no reason. Let's go, climb up this mountain. I have failed this climb before. There we go, didn't this time. I don't know why I climbed up there towards that box. Oh. Uh. Uh, go, okay. <sighs> Gotta get this other feather, because I am not good at the game. Oh my god, I never made that line before, okay. After some seriously ugly movement, we arrive at the overlook, grab our second golden feather, and we are off to go ahead and grab our bucket to progress up to the icy parts of the mountain. Okay. Get the bucket. I hit B. Fill the bucket with water. Boom. That's not going to make it. That would have made it if I took a better... I made it! Okay, okay, okay. This is the run. This is the run. This is the run. After a small blunder on the flower, we are into the icy parts of the mountain, where we must face the trick I practice more than any other, and we're going to see if the fruits of that labor paid off. Okay, first try, let's go. Ooh, that's huge. Alright. The biggest time save I have in this run has been achieved. I scaled the icy mountain on my first attempt. Now from here, I must just use my bucket to plant the flowers and scale the rest of the mountain. As long as nothing goes wrong, this should be an easy personal best. Okay, got water. This jump's giving me stress. My heart rate is so high. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't miss the jump. That angle's tough. Okay, grab the water. Plant the plant. First try, please. Go, 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 player. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I made it. Okay. The last of the flowers were conquered without much fret, and I was at the peak of the mountain, 
I just had to answer my phone and glide back right, so down to the text. cabin. Okay, got to match the text from flat to the bottom of the mountain. Let's go. Okay, this was so clean. Oh my god. It wasn't that clean. I made a couple of mistakes. Oh my god. My hands are so sweaty. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Oh my god. I can't mash any faster. Why am I mashing? There's no text yet. There we go. Mash. Oh, God. This is terrible. Bad mashing. I, I'm screwing up the mashing. After mashing through the text as quickly as my thumbs could possibly let me, we had finished the majority of the run, and all that was left was to jump off the peak. Oh my god! 427, holy cow! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a good run. Why am I so nervous? It's a four and a half minute speed run and I'm like... Whew. Oh, that was awesome. That was so much fun. Oh my god. It had been done. I made it to the bottom of the island, entered the cabin, and the credits began to roll. I had completed a short hike in 4 minutes and 27 seconds. Far faster than I would have expected. But still not that great on the leaderboards. Not even top 100, I don't think. But nonetheless, I had an amazing time with this video, and I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you haven't already and you watched all the way through, I put a ton of effort on this one. I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and stick around for some other fun stuff I have coming soon. Either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.